So this is the second day that this week that we worked. Today's Friday. We worked a little bit Monday. That was the day that I busted the hose on the end of my boom there, and, and Dad was in the video with me. And uh, hey, some freaking rain falling right now. What the actual heck? Really? So we we only got a couple of rounds on Monday. It was just too wet. We couldn't do anything else. So we come in here today. They're talking about rain Saturday and talking about potential of a good bit of rain again, which you know I don't know why I would think any different that it wouldn't, but it ain't like we hadn't had 500 inches of rain in the last 90 days or so now. But we uh, we're going to try to. We were sitting over there and we hopped over here to get in a new spot to try to just get, if we can just get a few rounds, a couple rounds out today, that would be good. So the sun's going to come out now. <laughs> just in time for the rain tomorrow. They've got our 8.30, supposed to have it ready today. So this has been a good week for them to have it and uh, working on it, doing the mods and updates and stuff on it that they were going to do. I've been watching Derek on the 724 and uh, it reminded me of how much different it is between a rubber tire machine and a uh, track cutter. It's just, get off these logs here before he hits them. It's just the, uh, track cutter. Let me get over here. Come on. So much better. That 724, you'd have to run water in it and the calcium in the tires on it because it, it will not stay on the ground, the back end of it, even with uh, not just regular sized trees like this. I've been watching him every time he throws them down. That thing jumps off the ground back there before he lets them go. And uh, I don't like it, man. It, and it, it does a lot more damage to the ground, too, than the track machine does. A lot more. So 724 is gone. Derek's following Dad out with it. Going back down to uh, the dealer down there to pick up our 830 and bring it back. That 724 is just a loaner machine or whatever. That's all it was. So, uh, we're gonna get done, man. It's, it's wet, real wet. Head on toward the house now. Crank this bulldozer up. It hadn't been cranked. That dude can get by right there. It hadn't been cranked in a couple weeks now, I think. Since we first moved over here. for a little while. So you know how you got a accelerator in a car, you mash it to give it throttle make it accelerate these dozers have a decelerator in them so you hold it you hold it down there's your throttle it's wide open right there to watch let off of it it revs it up so it's just the opposite of a of a car or pickup truck or anything or about anything else so you just let up off of it if you want to feather you can just Make it creep like it right there. I think Caterpillar was probably the first company that did that because the early John Deere's didn't have a decelerator on them.
This thing right here will forever more push too, boy. Put off of that, then that's the park break, the horn channel right there. Okay. So I finally got around to doing this while ago. That was a little painful because that thing's got some curve to it. Whew. Had to work with the heat gun some to get it right, but I I got her. It don't look like there's any thing coming out. So let's walk out here. They're ready to be fed out there. Here's the MB550s that have been dipped. These are cast jaws on these things too, man. And so I'm anxious to get some of these in the ground here. So this is Friday afternoon after we worked all day too. Uh, it's gonna be long, it'll be dark in a little bit. <laughs> They're ready to rock and roll, look at them. <laughs> That's Sadie. I have trimmed Sadie up a good bit. There's Tater. We're gonna, I'm gonna run them a little bit here. Sadie was a, uh, she was a toad when I first got her there. She just needed to be worked some. That was one of the reasons I wanted to get her from Jason. It's Tater. It's hard to tell them apart now. You about got to look at their collars. Man, this is wet as heck. Good gracious. So we'll, uh, they'll, whoops, about run over and about had a dead Tater. Get them to run and uh, get some exercise here. I'm not sure where Sadie is. She'll be up here in a minute. Come on, Sadie. Feel better, bud? I'm working it out. Mm hmm. Yeah, you're going to be on YouTube. That's right. Mm hmm. Yep. Show them how you can run and do that at the same time. Dude's talented, man. There's Sadie over there now. Don't let them little dogs fool you. They can move now. doing 20 they can run now ain't no doubt about that where did the heck did Sadie go he ain't gonna try to eat the tire need his collar on him right there she comes come on you heifer just like a woman lagging behind all the time she's looking for something to kill Look at him stretching out. There she is, Heifer. She got where she won't stay up on here much now anymore. That's a good thing, though. Twilight. About to get dark here. I'm gonna go on in the house and uh, get situated. Probably edit up this video. And may go ahead and upload it tonight. I don't know, but uh, so I'm not sure what I'll do tonight. Probably ain't gonna do a whole lot. Just gonna kind of watch the weather and see what uh, see what they're showing as far as it's coming in here. I think the last I seen is supposed to come in about six in the morning, which is real perfect about the time you'd like to go deer hunting. Uh, we still got a little bit of hunting left in Mississippi deer hunt to the end of January in Mississippi and February the 10th in Alabama. So this is getting dark. We're going to check and see where Dad is right now in the truck coming back with that uh, 
with the 830. Derek is running with him. And deer pictures coming in. It's a scene right there. That's him on the map. That green dot right there. He's about to come through Louisville now. So he's about an hour from the shop. He came from Philadelphia down here. So they're rolling on pretty good. And you can see uh, here's the shop right here. Oh, where all the all those trucks are sitting right there they're all parked right there so we can track all all of our trucks it's uh pretty handy to have it like that so and that's gonna be a little bit behind so he's probably on up in here right now he's probably already done one around uh lewisville but uh so he's got about an hour but it's all four lane coming back so he'll be fine coming on back <laughs> And uh, get to 8.30 back. We'll have it back rolling Monday. It's all righty. Okay, so we're starting the morning off, right? I just dumped hmm, probably a quarter of my Yeti cup of coffee into my floorboard here. Good thing I got some WeatherTech mats in here to catch this. So we're drying it up now. So good morning. It's uh, I'm attempting to go hunting, and it's raining again. Go figure. I guess it just got a little too dry here now. But I got some, I got some new stuff that I just got. I uh, opened it last night and got it today. This uh, Kuyu rain gear. It's the Yukon, I believe it is and uh the ex extreme heavy duty stuff that they got because i got it because because we have so many briars and stuff here so i got the top and the bottom and this is lovely i just backed out the edge of my driveway and got to put it in four wheel drive to get back up in the driveway holy cow see it right there dang it yeah I may as well go back and go back to bed. This is uh, this is not looking good today. I'm liable to break my leg or something today. Uh, let's see. Let's go get these dogs here. I'm gonna just tote them. This is what I'm gonna do with them. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick them up and tote them. So there's Sadie. I got her first. Now let's go get Tater. We'll put him over here. Look at Sadie trying to reach out and pat me with her paw. There's Tater right there. These are good boxes. I wish they'd use a little bit better latch on them though. Hey, Sadie, huh? Say, hey boy, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go get a deer. We are, ain't we, Tater? Anyway, yeah, let's go. Yeah, it'll be good. See that little light right there by that door. And, uh, the photo cell on it didn't work no more, so I got me another one installed it one day this week I don't know which day it was oh gosh I backed up too far Lord and mercy so I think I got everything dogs gun all the rain gear it is quit raining for a second here now and uh, one thing that I like right off the bat about this that cuff right there where you velcro that thing back around that's sweet right there. I normally wear a large, but uh, these things run a little bit small, so I ended. I got a 2X, and uh, where I can fit it over a coat, you know, so it works pretty good. It fits me just right too. I mean, man, deer is moving right now too. I am getting pictures left and right coming in here. Let's see what all is going on. That's a little old ratty buck right there. No, it's a doe. All those are does. Let's see what that one is. That's a little spike right there. See, there's another one just coming in from this same camera right there. I run a bunch of those uh, covert cameras is what I, what I run. And uh, they work very, very well. Ah, shoot, come on, man. 
there we go. That's a big doe right there. That's actually where I'm going this morning right there, where that deer is right now. So I'm about to slip in there because they're already uh, not already moving. But I'm gonna take y'all along with me here. So uh, it's gonna be a good morning. I'm running a little bit late. The coffee messed me up and uh, rain. I'm just kind of taking my time, but no biggie. We'll get over here and uh, get all unloaded and all that good stuff. Hit the road. Let's see. Yeah, my truck's locked. We're locked and loaded now, man. Let's, uh, let's ride, Clyde. I think I got everything. Good. Dogs, they'll stay in the truck, in the kennel. That's where they'll stay. A little bit late, but that's not gonna matter. Not this morning, anyhow. We're gonna ease on in here. Sit down for a few hours. See what happens. We're in like Flynn. We'll get a couple of these windows open here real quick. And, uh, I've already seen one already. Didn't pass by. So just kind of give you a little update. <laughs> I'm, uh, Jason and I got to chit-chatting this morning while I was sitting there in the box stand there hunting. And uh, so now I'm down, I'm on the way down here to their place. I'm gonna meet him and we're gonna get into uh, some shenanigans, I'm sure. <laughs> he already texted me a while ago and he said that uh, road right before one of our gates there is about washed slap out and uh so i said all right so we uh meet up with him see what all we can get into right quick it's about to rain look way over that away ran through a big rain a while ago so uh we'll see what goes on here now I'm sure I'll probably turn that into a uh, another video too. Look at that radar! Dang it! I'm back. Be interesting to see if this thing got that belt wet on it or not. Cause uh, I just pulled this thing in some serious rain. I mean, so you can see how wet those louvers are on it right there. I bet it's wet again. I'm gonna fix that. I just ain't got time to do it right now. Mess with it uh, to do it the way that I want to do it and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go in here and get the uh, get the video ready, and I'm gonna uh, try to that tire. Look at that. That's something. Yeah. Probably got something in it. Hmm. Had to pull that thing off. At least I do got the next one right there. Pull it off right there and check her out and see if it's got a nail or something in it. Ain't no telling, man. Ain't no telling. Always something. Always something. <laughs> Appreciate all y'all watching. Tuning in. <laughs> Hanging in there. The video with Jason today is going to be pretty good. Head going water. Oh. Uh, we good. We moved that pig trap. The Kuyu rain gear works very well too. Very, very well. So uh we'll catch y'all later. Later, Tavis.